My name is Andrew Sterling, Marketing and Outreach Coordinator here at Bow River Hearing. Today, we're going to be going over the setup and use of your TV Link 2. The TV Link 2 is meant to connect your TV or another audio source to your hearing aids. Wirelessly, through the use of a streamer, the Phonak Compilot 2. First, we will need to connect the TV Link to your TV. On the back of this device, there are four audio methods. The first of these methods is to connect via an optical cable. The second option is to connect via a coaxial connector. The third method is to connect via an analog RCA cable. And the fourth method is to connect via an analog 3.5 millimeter audio jack. To connect via the optical cable, make sure to remove the plastic buds found at the end of the wire. Following this removal, you can plug into the output of your TV, the audio optical output, and then plug into the back of your TV Link 2 at the optical input. To connect via coaxial cable, the process is pretty much the same. First, you'll connect to the back of the TV Link 2, and then following this, you'll connect to the output on the back of your TV. To connect using the analog RCA cable, first take the 3.5 millimeter jack and plug it into the back of your TV Link 2 in the analog section. Following this, match the corresponding colors in the audio out section of your TV. To connect using the analog 3.5 millimeter wire, first Connect to the back of your TV Link 2 in the analog section. Following this, you can now connect to the back of your TV in the audio out section. Now we are ready to pair the TV Link to the Compilot streamer. First, make sure that the Compilot is fully charged. Upon first use, be sure to charge the Compilot for three hours. If your streamer and TV link were received in a complete set, they are already paired. If received separately, you will have to pair manually. To manually start pairing mode, switch the TV link on. Make sure that your compilot is on as well. Now go to the back and turn on the pairing button and the main indicator light will start flashing. Finally, also turn on pairing mode on your Compilot by pressing the volume and side arrow button. And hold for the audio and the TV link buttons to stop flashing blue. Once they have both stopped flashing, they are paired. You will now be able to hear the sound of the TV directly in your hearing aids. Once your devices are paired, each time the devices are switched on, they will automatically connect to each other. To do this, make sure the neck piece is attached in your COM pilot. Finally, make sure your hearing aids are switched on and worn correctly and that the streamer and TV link to are within one meter apart. Switch your TV on and then both devices on. Wait until the indicator lights on each device turn blue. Now you can successfully listen to your TV. Thanks for watching this video about the use and setup of your TV link to. If you have any questions or any setup issues, please feel free to consult the document below or contact us at the Bow River Hearing Clinic.